Here in Connecticut, tomorrow is the game Harvard versus Yale, and history will be made. The two schools are playing for the 132nd time, but it is the first time ever under lights at the Yale Bowl. News 8's Kent Pierce live outside the bowl this morning. Tell us about that and the security concerns as well. Good morning, Kent. Good morning, Jocelyn. You know, there have been a lot of big games here at the Yale Bowl in its 101 year history. But one thing that's never happened here, they have never played football under lights after dark. That changes tomorrow. We're going to show you how they're going to do it. See, on the back of that tractor trailer there is this portable lighting system. They've got a bunch of these set up around the outside of the Yale Bowl. Those telescope up and turn, and those lights will light up the dark of tomorrow late afternoon when they're going to be playing football here. It is the game, of course, and the reason for these lights is television. The network carrying the game wanted it to start at 2.30. That means they're going to be playing until at least 5, 5.30. The sunset is about 4.30 this time of year, so that's why they've got lights set up for the very first time. This is also the first time there's been a big event in Connecticut since the Paris terror attacks, and we are expecting heightened security for the game. 60,000 people expected through the gates. The New Haven Police Department, the West Haven Police Department, the Yale Police Department, and the state police are all going to be working the game. And if you come, you're going to notice some changes. People will see a noticeable difference in the security this time. Uh, we will be using magnetometers, or what people usually refer to as a metal detector, much as you'd go through an airport screening. Uh, the screening is not going to be uh, that uh, intense, but people are going to be walking through magnetometers before they go into the Yale Bowl this time. No large bags are allowed in. Any bags you do bring in are going to be thoroughly searched. So they say, you might as well just leave it in the car. As always, you can't bring any alcohol into the bowl. Security is going to mean it's going to take extra time for all 60,000 people to get inside the Yale Bowl. Now, the parking lot's open at 10 for tailgating. And remember, there's restrictions on that. Been in place since the deadly truck accident four years ago. The gates into the bowl open at noon. They say get in there early because of all that extra security. Kickoff is at 2.30. If you're looking to come down here and park. All the parking passes have already been sold, so you're not going to be able to park unless you have your pass already, but you can park downtown and take a shuttle bus. Live outside the Yale Bowl in New Haven, I'm Kent Pierce. Back to you.